For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the max weight of the crate that can be suspended from the cables AB, AC, and AD so that the tension developed in any of those cables cannot exceed 250 pounds. So to do the vector, the first thing I like to do is find all the univectors, the univector pointing towards D, the univector pointing towards B, and the univector pointing towards C, and the univector going straight down holding the crate. So the first step is find all the univectors. To find all the univectors, we're going to find all the points involved, A, B, C, and D. Now A sits at 0 in the I plus 6 in the J plus 0 in the K. B sits at negative 3 in the I plus 0 in the J plus 2 in the K. C sits at 2 in the I plus 0 in the J plus 3 in the K and D sits at 0 in the I, plus 9 in the J, plus 4 in the K. Now the vector AV, to find the univector AV, you need to find the vector AV first. The vector AV is found by subtracted A from B, and it comes out to be negative 3 in the I, minus 6 in the J, plus 2 in the K. Then you need to find the magnitude of this vector AV. The magnitude is found by doing the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So 3 square plus 6 square plus 2 square is 49 and the square root of that is 7. And the univector AB is easily found by doing the vector AV divided by its magnitude and that is equal to minus 0.429 in the I minus 0.857 in the J plus 0.286 in the K so that's the univector AV we need to also find univector AC and AD and we're gonna find them in the same manner just do these three steps find the vector instead of AB you find AC and then instead of AB you find AD and you find the other two univectors. You can go through the motions and do it yourself just like you did before you should get that the univector AC is equal to 0.286 in the I minus 0.857 in the J plus 0.429 in the K. And AD, univector AD, should be equal to 0 in the I plus 0.6 in the J plus 0.8 in the K. And the univector for the crate, notice that it's going straight down parallel to the C axis, so it's simply minus 1 in the K. So now that you have all the univectors, I'm going to turn the page, hopefully you'll be taking notes. What you got to do is you got to multiply these univectors by the forces or tensions, by tensions slash forces. In this case, they're all tensions because they're all cables. So when you multiply them, basically you got to understand that you have uh, four forces, you got four univectors after all. So you have the tension in cable AB, the tension in cable AC, the tension in cable AD, and the tension holding the crate. The tension holding the crate is equal to the weight of the crate. And you got to multiply each of these by its respective univector. So this is times univector AV, times univector AC, times univector AD, times the univector for the crate, which we found on the previous step. 
So when you multiply the magnitudes by the uh, unit vectors, this is what you get. For the first one, you get minus 0.429 tension AB in the I, minus 0.857 tension AB in the J, plus 0.286 tension AB in the K. For AC, you get 0.286 tension AC in the I minus 0.857 tension AC in the J plus 0.429 tension AC in the K. For AD you get 0.6 tension AD in the J and 0.8 tension AD in the K. Positive in both and zero on the i. And for the weight of the crate, you get zero on the i plus zero on the j minus the weight of the crate in the k. And you know that when you add all this up, you get zero on the i plus zero on the j plus zero on the k. This is the diagram I like to build for all these problems. Now that you have this diagram, you know that if you add all the i's together, all the j's together, and all the k's together, and you set them equal to zero because this is statics, you can get your three equations to find all these variables. So adding all the i's together, you get minus 0.429 tension AB in the i plus 0.286 tension AC. Sorry, there's no i. plus zero, plus zero, is equal to zero. So it's equal to zero, I'm not gonna write all the zeros. For the second equation and the third equation, we're gonna do the j's and the k's. I'm gonna move a little quicker. Minus 0.857 tension AB, minus 0.857 tension AC, plus 0.6 tension AD, is equal to zero. And the last one for the K will be 0.286 tension AB plus 0.429 tension AC plus 0.8 tension AD minus the weight of the crate is equal to zero, but I'm going to put the weight of the crate on the right hand side of the equation. So now we have equation, let's call it equation one, equation two, and equation three. And I'm going to solve them algebraically. So to solve them algebraically, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write equation 2. But I'm going to multiply it by negative 0.8 over 0.6. So I'm going to get equation 2 and, and rewrite it here, multiplying each of the coefficients by this fraction I just wrote, negative 0.8 over 0.6. And equation 2 becomes 1.14 tension in AB plus 1.14 tension in AC minus 0.8 tension in AD is equal to 0. And then I'm going to rewrite what I believe is equation uh, 1. I'm sorry, equation 3. So I'm going to rewrite equation 3 right here, right below it. And equation 3 is 0.286 tension AB plus 0.429 tension AC plus 0.8 tension AD is equal to the weight of the crate. So as you can see, when you add these two together, the tensions in AD cancel out, and you get this new equation, which says that 1.426 tension in AB plus 1. 569 tension in AC is equal to the weight of the crate. Now that you have this new equation, I'm going to do equation 1 right here, but I'm going to multiply by this fraction 1.426 over 0.429. So I'm going to rewrite equation 1, but each coefficient is going to be multiplied by this fraction. And you get for the first 
minus 1.426 tension in AB plus 0.951 tension in AC and that is equal to zero. So when you add these two equations together, the tensions in AB cancel out and you get that 2.52 tension in AC is equal to the weight of the crate which means that the tension in AC is equal to 0.397 times the weight of the crate. Now if you plug this into uh, equation 1, this tension AC is equal to this value. You plug in this value in equation 1, you replace TAC and you solve for TAB and you get that the tension in AB comes out to be 0.265 times the weight of the crate. And if you plug in these two values into equation 2 and you solve for tension on AD, then this is equal to 0.943 times the weight of the crate. Now, how is this helpful? Well, now, just by looking at these uh, three, the, the values of these three with respect to the weight of the crate, you can tell which one's bigger than the rest. So, but just by looking at this inside the square I just drew, you can tell that the tension in AD is the biggest, and then the tension in AC, and then the tension in AB. And you know that the maximum tension these cables can withhold is 250. The maximum tension is always being held by the tension at AD. Therefore, the tension in AD is equal to the 250 pounds. The tension in AD is also equal to what? 0.943, the weight of the crate. So all you got to do is, in this equation right here, solve for the weight of the crate. The weight of the crate is equal to 250 divided by 0.943, which means that the weight of the crate is equal to 265 pounds. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.